So I went ahead and simulated the NBA season 101 times. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch 101 seasons because that would just be ridiculous. So I went ahead and did them off camera so I could present the information to you. And if you for some reason need proof, here is all 100 recordings from season 1 to 100. This is every single season. We'll get to season 101 later. And here's a Google spreadsheet to where I wrote down every single thing I needed to to make this video. I'm going to blur the spreadsheet for now, but I'll show it at the end because I don't want to leak the information you're going to see in like two seconds. So let's go ahead and go over what happened in these 100 different simulations of the 2022 NBA season. So let's start off with the MVP. This is no surprise here. Luka winning 97 out of 100 season simulations. Trey Young somehow getting two of them and Jokic getting one of them. But again, we all knew this was coming based off all the other 2K sims you've seen from other people and me. So this is no shocker. And now we have rookie of the year where things got a little more competitive, but Jabari Smith still dominating, winning 71 out of 100 simulations. Baker was able to get himself 24 and Keegan Murray was able to get himself five. Just to be clear, I put every single person on all these awards, meaning that if a random rookie just got rookie of the year one time, I would put it on this pie chart and on the list. So I promise I am not leaving anybody out. Now let's move on to sixth man of the year where Andre Drummond won it 58 times out of 100. And then we have Spencer Dinwiddie winning it 28 times, Malcolm Brogdon winning it 12 times, Kevin Love only getting it one time, even though he just placed second and sixth man of the year last year, and Ben Simmons randomly getting it one time. Now we have defensive player of the year where Giannis wins it 50 times, Anthony Davis gets to 27, Mitchell Robinson gets to 10, Bam 6, Joel Embiid 6, and the three-time defensive player of the year only gets it one time out of 100 simulations. And now we have most improved player. This award seems kind of random, but I guess they kept it pretty consistent between three or four players. Noel getting 34, Sinjun getting 33, Trey Jones getting 27. And then we have three random ones, Bones Highland getting two, Mitchell Robinson getting two, and Halliburton getting two. And now we move on to Coach of the Year where there are 12 different contestants. But out of the 100 simulations, Billy Donovan won it the most with 26. Then we have Mate McMillan getting 18, Doc Rivers 16, Jenkins 12, Jason Kidd 7, and JB Bickerstaff 5. This award usually just goes to the team who had the best record, so I was surprised that Steve Kerr only had two of them, as well as Jason Kidd only getting seven with Luka winning MVP every single year. And now we move on to the Eastern Conference teams who made the NBA Finals the most. We have the Sixers making it 30 times, the Bulls making it 19 times, Hawks making it 17 times, the Celtics making it 14 times, the Cavs making it 13 times, the Heat making it six times, and out of 100 different simulations, the Milwaukee Bucks only making it one time. And as for the Western Conference, a little more balanced than the East. The Grizzlies making it 26 times. The Mavs making it 23. Then we have the Pelicans 15 times. The Clippers 10 times. The Wolves 10 times. The Nuggets 10 times. And then again, for a team who just won the championship last year, the Warriors only making it back four times out of 100. The Blazers randomly sneaking in twice. And the Lakers getting four attempts. Now, I was going to make a cool graphic for this, but there is just way too many matchups to make a nice looking graphic for this. So here are literally all the finals matchups that happened during the 100 different simulations of the 2022 NBA season. The most common matchup we see here is the Sixers and Grizzlies. Then we have a few others that have like six and five, like the Bulls and Mavs. We have the Bulls and Grizzlies, Hawks and Mavs. And then we have a few weird ones like the Heat and Blazers, Bulls, Timberwolves. There's some weird ones in there. But as we see here, the most common matchup is the Sixers versus the Grizzlies. And now here are the teams who won the most NBA championships out of those 100 different simulations. The Sixers winning 23 out of the 30 attempts they had when they actually got themselves to the finals. The Bulls got themselves 14 rings. The Mavs got 12. The Grizzlies got 10. The Celtics got 9. The Pelicans got 7. Cavs got themselves 7. Heat got themselves 4. The Clippers got 2. The Hawks got 5. The Wolves got 3. And in the Bucks, one attempt they actually got to the finals, they were able to win the championship. Now, a couple things to note here. The Nets just never found themselves ever in the finals or won a championship. And the Warriors got themselves to the finals four different times and never won the championship. There's some one-offs that I didn't list on the sides, like the Nuggets, the Lakers and the Blazers, but again, the Warriors never won a championship. And now we have the finals MVP grid. Harden actually winning finals MVP the most. The Sixers won the most championships, but Harden got the most out of it winning 13 finals MVPs. Luka winning it 12 times. Ja winning it 10 times. Tatum winning it 9 times. DeRozan winning it 7 times. Then we have some weird one-offs like Evan Mobley. We have Anthony Edwards. We got Lillard. And then we have possibly one of the worst finals MVPs in NBA history and Nikola Vucevic right there getting one. So now that I've showed you the overall stats throughout all 100 simulations of the 2022 NBA season. Let's go ahead and go over some fun facts. So here is fun fact number one. Not one season ever single-handedly repeated itself the whole way through. This means when we go down the line of MVP, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year, and we go down the line of every single award, the finals appearance, the ring, and the finals MVP, no two seasons happen the exact same. And believe me, I checked all 100. There are not two seasons that exist that actually happen the same. But let me go ahead and reveal the closest two seasons I was able to find, which was season 38 and 
season 98. Season 38 and 98 both had the same MVP, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Most Improved Player, Coach of the Year, the same finals matchup, but the outcome of the finals was the only difference, with obviously the finals MVP being another difference. I present to you now fun fact number two. This was the most unique season I could possibly find out of all 100 seasons. We have Trey Young as MVP because I figured 97 out of 100 times Luka won MVP, so I think a very unique season would be him not winning MVP. Then we have Jabari Smith winning Rookie of the Year. That's very common. Six Man of the Year drumming. That's very common. But Defensive Player of the Year Embiid, he only won it six times out of the 100, so that's a very unique one. Most Improved Player Trey Jones, that's pretty common. Coach of the Year Billy Donovan, that's very common. Now we have the Bucks and Grizzlies Finals, which only happened one time. The Bucks only made one finals appearance, and they actually won the championship this year, making final, or Giannis the finals MVP. Now let's move on to fun fact number three. This is the rarest NBA season. Now this isn't a season that I chose between the 100 simulations that I did. I just took the rarest outcomes from each award and put them all into one season. So we have Jokic winning MVP, Keegan Murray winning Rookie of the Year, Kevin Love, Sixth Man of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Gobert, Halliburton, Most Approved, Coach of the Year, Tyron Lue, a finals matchup of Heat players, which only happened one time, and those teams went to the finals very low compared to the rest of the league. The Heat winning the championship and Jimmy Butler finals MVP. This is the rarest NBA season I could possibly make with all of the outcomes that we had throughout the 100 simulations. And here is our final fun fact. This is the most likely season that 2K thinks is going to happen. Very similar to the most rare season, just combining all the most common things that happened all into one season. So we have Luka winning MVP, Jabari Smith, Rookie of the Year, Drummond Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis Defensive Player of the Year, Jalen Noel Most Improved, Coach of the Year, Billy Donovan, a Sixers Grizzly these finals Sixers winning the championship with James Harden winning finals MVP and to cap this whole video off we're going to be simulating a 101st NBA season and we're going to be seeing how much we can replicate this most likely season so let's go ahead and find out how accurate this is all right well so far one for one Luka winning MVP and look at that two for two Jabari Smith winning rookie of the year we're on track six man of the year Andre Drummond we are three for three defensive player of the year Anthony Davis we fell short there most approved player Trey Jones we fell short there. Coach of the year, Billy Donovan. There we go. So we are right now three for, oh, sorry, four for six. And now we're going to have to pray our most likely finals matchup is the Grizzlies and Sixers. So we're going to simulate the first round here and we'll just kind of go by it. Both the Sixers and Grizzlies have made it to the second round of the playoffs. Both the Sixers and Grizzlies have made it to the conference finals. We're going to simulate this round again. Let's see what happens here. No, no. They both made it to the conference finals. Philly lost in seven and Memphis lost in four. That's so bad bad. We got a close one here. One point game, game seven. Tatum with the ball. Three ball. Bricked it. Oh my god, that was a terrible shot. LeBron trying to drive on Pritchard. Should have no problem doing that. Oh my god, he smoked the leg. Gotta go back up with that. There we go. Tatum with a deep three. Bricked it. What the hell is Jason Tatum doing? LeBron gonna drive here on Horford. Gonna fake it with the hook. Missed it. Tatum gonna try one more time and he gets fouled. Gotta knock down this free throw to make it a three point game and he got it. Pritchard giving it to Brogdon. Brogdon with the fadeaway three. Got it. What the... What? Malcolm Brogdon with the clutchest shot of his life. This would be a crazy ass way to end an NBA Finals. Just a five out ISO like with five seconds. LeBron trying to ISO on Tatum. LeBron trying to drop. This is for the championship. Gets blocked by Tatum. 1.8 left on the shot clock. Oh my God. Don't give it to Westbrook. Oh my God. Westbrook with the ball for three. Bricked it. <laughs> we're going to overtime. All right. We're back in overtime. We got a two point game. LeBron trying to drive on Tatum. Nothing there. Gives it to Jones. Oh my god, that is the ultimate bailout. Tatum with a nice pass to Brogdon for three. How does he miss that but makes that crazy ass dude before that? Robert Williams with a terrible hook shot. LeBron driving again. Pull up midi. Got it. Tough shot. Tatum with the ball. Tatum, you might want to give the ball to somebody else because you just can't seem to make one shot. Robert Williams, there's two seconds left. What are you? Robert Williams. Oh, and he misses the shot. Oh, man. You know what's crazy? Because after doing 100 tests, the Lakers only won the championship one time. And now be after the 101st simulation, they win it this time. That's kind of crazy. The odds were stacked against them, but they got it done. Jalen Brown with... Wow. Oh, my God. Okay, this is crazy. Oh, you know what? That's even crazier. Okay, never mind. I don't even... I can't even explain that one. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it for simulating the 2022 NBA season 101 times. I'll go ahead and show the spreadsheet on the screen right now so you can see, like, all the years and everything like that. I'm like, if you want to pause the video and see anything, go right ahead. And for anyone who takes the occasional trip to Vegas, go ahead and put the house on a Sixers-Grizzlies finals. Goodbye.